Hey guys, welcome back to Firearms and Fellowship. I got a special rifle for you today, and I'm excited to shoot it. It's a Harrington and Richardson Model 65. This was designed by Eugene Rising for the United States Marine Corps. When the Marines were finally issued the M1 Grand, they wanted a training rifle. So they went to H&R and asked them to make them one. And this is what they came up with. Now, Rising had uh, developed the Model 50 submachine gun, and there's some carryover from that gun to this rifle. It's a unique rifle. It's eight and a half pounds. It has the length of pull and, and sight picture as the M1 Garand. One unique feature about it is the action bar is located right here. And that kept it out of the way from up here. It has a Redfield 70-AT aperture sight, metal trigger guard, and a 10 round magazine. They made about 6,000 of these rifles for the, for the Marine Corps and about 18,500 of them total. They were made between 1943 and 1945. Now, a lot of you might be familiar with the Harrington and Richardson Model 165, also known as the Leatherneck. That's a little bit different from this. That's a, it was a sportier version. So let's shoot this thing and see, see if it'll hit anything. I really like this aperture sight. The trigger is not great. Very heavy. It's hard to find one of these rifles. Unmolested. A lot of times they'll be drilled and tapped for a scope. Has a black walnut stock. And it is all there. Oh, we stove pipe. That was the end of the road anyway. There you have it. That's the Harrington and Richardson Model 65. I'll put a link to this article by David R. Albert in the comments. Uh, it talks about Eugene Rising, um, all, the, all the pistols and, and rifles and submachine guns that he developed. Uh, it talks about his life. You know, Rising worked with, with John Browning on the 1911. Um, so a very interesting, thorough article. I'll put that down there. And guys, please like, share, and subscribe. It helps us a lot. Leave a comment. I love to hear what you guys have to say. So thanks for watching. And as always, have a great day.